And my name is Catherine, and today we're going to read the story of Peter Rabbit. He's a really naughty rabbit. <laughs> yeah. It's Peter. Okay, so let's start the story. So once upon a time, the boy, the boy, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Flopsy? That kind of sounds like a, a flip-flop. Yeah. They lived with their mother in a sandbank, underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you might go into the fields or down the lane, but don't go into my, Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Now, run along and don't <coughs> get into mischief. I am going out. Then old Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood to the baker's. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns. Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden and squeezed under the gate. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans and then he ate some radishes and then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Mr. McGregor was on his feet and knees planting out young cabbages. <laughs> But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! You no thief! You were just running around to see what was for eating. Yeah. Peter was most dreadfully frightened. He rushed all over the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages, and the other shoe among the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster, so that I think he might have got away altogether if he had not unfortunately ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large button on his jacket. On his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Yeah. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears. But his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and imploring him to exert himself. The naughty rabbit, and then he won't feel sick. Yeah. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. But Peter wiggled, up, wiggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. Then rushed into the tool shed and jump into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Oh no, now he's yeah. going to be really sick. Then he's going to die. Like real rabbit. <laughs> Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed. Perhaps hidden underneath a flower pot? Those are so tiny. How could you hide in there? There's some big flower pots. He began to turn look them over. Look how small they look. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah, looking these under. Ones, these ones are bigger. Yeah. What looking did under you look each. under there? I don't know. I think there were snakes in there. Presently, Peter sneezed. Catch you. Mr. McGregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon Peter who would jump out of a window upside tree plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was try tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter, Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had yeah, not the least idea which way to go. Yeah, all bunnies, if they got the wrong diet, they, they like ran out of breath. Also, he was very damp with sitting in the camp. After a time, he began to wander about, going lippity lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in the wall, but it was locked 
and there was no room for a fat little bunny to squeeze underneath. An old mouse was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the wood. Peter asked her the way to the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she could, could not answer. She only shook her head at him. Like this? Like this. Peter began to cry. Like this. Like this. Then he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond where Mr. McGregor filled his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. I want a goldfish. Yeah, but now, but now and then the tip of her tail twitched as if it was alive. Peter thought it was best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, Little Benjamin Bunny. <coughs> he went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a howl. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scratch. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes. But presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon a wheelbarrow and peeped over the first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor, hoing on us. His back was turned towards Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter got down very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go, along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the woods outside the garden. Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and his shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. It looks like, but they don't look scared at all. <laughs> yeah, no. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him until he got home to the big fir tree. Mm -hmm. Then. Hmm? What? That does not look like a scarecrow. <laughs> he was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand of the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was a second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made some chamomile tea and she gave a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoon to be taken at bedtime. A Flopsy Mopsy and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. And that's the end. Oh. <clears throat> he was like, we're gonna sing the bunnies say hop, hop, hop. All the bunnies, all the bunnies can jump, 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 high, high, high. And the rabbits can't say. There's so many kinds of bunnies. Snowshoe pairs, normal bunnies, desert bunnies, forest bunnies, and pet Bunnies, but la la be you you and long eared bunnies, short eared bunnies, baby bunnies, and grown up bunnies, newborn bunnies, oh newborn bunnies, they got their eyes closed, that's why they can't open them. The bunnies got Round fluffy tails, and some like guts, and like some long tails. And they're fluffy, so fluffy. Some got short fur, and some got long, long fur. And some got them so long they could get it dirty. So you got to let them lick their selves that way they take a shower. You can't, cannot get them too wet. If you give them lettuce, they will die. That's why that is too much. 
badness for them. They don't eat lead, it's why it's bad. And they cannot oh, eat oh, seeds. You can't let them eat an apple. If you give them the seeds, too, 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 you got to give them a little piece without seeds. And they can use their big teeth to eat it. Got to be sure they eat, eat something hard. That way their teeth will shrink, shrink, shrink. And that way they won't need to open their, keep their mouth open. And they can go really fast. So you might need to keep some energy if you're going to follow that. And you can even buy them little collars. And you can't believe what they cannot walk. They can't um, jump, 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 jump. Why up they're jumping, they can jump fast. And they can jump slow if they're learning how to jump, jump, jump. They can jump really slow, so you can easily get them. But when they're born, you cannot touch them. That's why they got blood around them. Oh. And they are really cute. And you can say, oh yeah. And they're so adorable. But you got to be careful. It is why kitties can't eat them, even dogs. But our dog soul takes good care of her. And even dogs, even eagles could get them. So you got to keep them inside a cage, 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 with a roof outside. So outside, if you got them outside, they need lots of care. And if you are going to take it with you every time you got to keep it at your home and you got to make sure it got lots of water and got have it keep he died is why he wasn't warm enough if you give it hay he will be alive and i will see you later bye bye I hope you like the story. And, and give it a like! Yeah, and if you want more stories, subscribe to our channel. We will be uploading a lot more. Yes!